लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ द आयनिक एक्लिब्रियम विच शेल बी डीलिंग विद वीक पॉलीप्रोटिक एसिड एंड द सॉलिबिलिटी प्रोडक्ट सो लेट मी फोकस ऑन द पॉलीप्रोटिक एसिड फर्स्ट सो लेट मी टेक एन एग्जाम्पल एच थ्री पी ओ फोर सो हाउ टू डिसोशिएटेड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव टू रिमूव वन प्रोटोन फ्रॉम इट सो आई विल गेट एच प्लस प्लस एच टू पी ओ फोर माइनस द सेकेंड स्टेप विल बी टू डिसोशिएट वन मोर प्रोटोन फ्रॉम इट एच प्लस एच पी ओ फोर माइनस टू वाई एम फोकसिंग ऑन इट बिकॉज सिंस मेनी ईयर्स दिस टॉपिक हैज बिन इग्नोर्ड सो चांसेस आर देर दैट दिस क्वेश्चन कैन बी आस्ड और रिलेटेड टू दिस कैन बी आस्ड सो एट टाइम टी इजिकल टू जीरो आई एम टेकिंग द इनिशियल कंसेंट्रेशन टू बी सी सो लेट्स डिसोशिएट इट टू बी सी माइनस एक्स एक्स एंड एक्स ना डू फॉर द सेकेंड वन ना हाउ टू डू इट सी मे गेटिंग द कंसेंट्रेशन टू बी एक्स सो यू हैव टू ओके फर्स्ट दिस विल फॉर्म देन दिस विल ब्रेक ओके सो लेट इट डिसोशिएट सो आई विल बी टेकिंग द डिसोशिएशन टू बी वाई नाउ नेक्स्ट थिंग एट टाइम टी इजिकल टू जीरो एच एच पी ओ फोर माइनस टू दैट वी आर गॉट इज वाई वाई एट टाइम टी इजिकल टू टी इट विल बी वाई माइनस जेड 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 ओके नाउ वॉट इज द कैच हेयर यू हैव टू लर्न दैट सी वी आर डूइंग द रिएक्शन इन द सेम बीकर in the same container actually so whatever h plus i am getting it must be same because the volume the concentration has to remain same so it must be x plus y plus z it also must be x plus y plus z it also must be x plus y plus z okay so you can see that h plus concentration has to be same so we have made it same so now in the question it will be given this is ka1 this is ka2 this is ka3 now solving it further so x into x plus y plus z i am applying for the h3po4 that is the initial one upon c minus x must be ka1 the question that can be asked will be to calculate the ph of such questions so i have to get the values of x y and z so let us find c y and z can be ignored with respect to x they will be very small and x can be ignored with respect to c okay that is simple so i'll get x square upon c to be ka1 so i can get x to be c ka1 root so i've got x now i have to calculate y and z so let's do further so applying now for the equation 2 so i will get y into x plus y plus z upon x minus y is equal to ka2 okay so we can ignore y z y here also so we'll get y x upon x is equal to ka2 so we can cancel x simple calculation so what i'll get y is equal to ka2 okay now doing for the third one i will get see the third one is this so i'll get z into x plus y plus z upon y minus z is equal to ka3 so what does it implies so ignore okay so what i get x z upon y is equal to ka3 see i got x i got y put x and y in this equation i'll get z so i found x i found y i found z so what is h plus concentration x plus y plus z so you have to take a minus log of that to get the resultant ph okay so this is the weak polyprotic acid now let me go to the solubility product so let's begin by taking a simple example let me take agcl which is solid it goes into ag plus plus cl minus given that the solubility ha huh, now this is an important point i want to tell you see the solubility will be for the ions only because ions can only react with the h plus and the oh minus present in the water and the solid is not taken into consideration for the calculation of the equilibrium constants here the equilibrium constant will be denoted by ksp nothing nothing changes it it, it will be denoted by ksp like it was kc kp it will be here ksp so don't think about that so ions must exist in aqueous form otherwise they won't be stable okay so this must be in aqueous form this must mean aqueous form so the given that the solubility of ag plus is s 
or you have to assume it to be s means both have to be similarly soluble okay because it is a sim single compound you can say or if i've got here two moles i'll take that example then the solubility will uh, vary so let me do for this simple example see s and s so what will be ksp just the normal k you have to multiply like the normal k we used to do there so s into s so what does it mean ksp will be s square let me take another simple example to tell the use of the constants given so if i have caoh whole twice which will go into ca plus plus 2 oh minus see this will be solid this will be aqueous this will be aqueous the ions have to be taken in aqueous form okay otherwise if this is mentioned as aqueous then we have to take the concentration of it if it is not mentioned then only the ions have to be taken okay because in a liquid only ions are stabilized okay that is organic concept okay so how to do this is one mole the stoichiometric coefficient is one so i have to take this as s means one into s here also one into s one into s now two into oh so it will be taken two s why we taking two s because when it dissociates i get you can say one unit of this and two units of this so i am getting simultaneously two units that's why i have to write two s here now doing the simple KC and KB concepts so you can see that it will be S raised to power 1 into 2S raised to power 2 2S raised to power 2 so what it will be 4S cube so I have got KSP to be 4S cube so if they ask a question that what is S so S will be KSP upon 4 raised to power 1 by 3 so I hope till now it is understood now next concept and an important concept I want to share because the common effect is very important in terms of J mains and advanced also but mains is more important so if I have AgCl or and it is given to be solubility is S and given that Ksp is equal to 10 is to power minus 10 so the first question is what is solubility in 0.1 m kcl solution so what is the question the question is that i am given agcl solid and ksp of agcl that is ksp of agcl is 10 raised to power minus 10 so the first part that i have asked is what is the solubility this is solubility in 0.1 m kcl solution so let me begin so first of all dissociate kcl so kcl will go into k plus plus Cl minus C it is a strong electrolyte so it will be 100% dissociation so I'll get 0 0.1 here 0 0.1 here okay so now next thing AgCl will go into Ag plus plus Cl minus it will be aqueous it will be aqueous this will be solid so I have to assume the solubility as S and S simple concept now what we have to do the further thing here the Cl minus will also be present in the same beaker or the container that we are doing the reaction. So 0 0.1 must be added here also. And you can write S here also but this is of no use because the KSP for AgCl has been given to us. Okay. So what I am getting S plus 0 0.1 and here it is S. Now what I am, uh, the other data that I have been given is the KSP. So I can write it as S into that is S into s plus 0 0.1 is equal to 10 raised to power minus 10 okay so see the solubility of see okay let me share it with you the solubility can be ignored with respect to 0 0.1 you will come to know why see i'll ignore it so i'll get s into 0 0.1 is equal to 10 raised to power minus 10 so i get s is equal to 10 raised to power minus 9 U units you can decide so see S is equal to 10 to the power minus 9. Now put it here. 10 is to the power minus 9 plus 0 0.1. So you can obviously see, see that we can ignore S with respect to 0 0.1. Because these are very 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 less soluble substances. Okay. Now the second question. So what is. Means the second part of the question. Solubility in 0 0.01 M Ag NO3. So what is the first step? dissociated AgNO3 goes into Ag plus plus NO3 minus 1 
what is been given 0 0.01 0 0.01 now taking the initial initial solution that is AgCl so dissociated so AG, AgCl will go into Ag plus plus Cl minus S and S now what is the common ion effect that we have to apply here the common ion effect will be applied for the Ag plus so I have to add here 0 0.01 so now apply KSP. So what is the KSP? 10 to the power minus 10 is equal to S plus 0 0.01 into S. S can be ignored. So in calculation, I'll get S is equal to 10 to the power minus 8. So this way we can solve. Achha, now if the question is asked that what is the solubility in 0 0.1 M I say H2O. Okay, think for think on it. If I say 0 0.1 M H2O then the solubility will not be varied or we have to not add anywhere 0.1 etc. Why? Because in the reaction you can see Ag plus and Cl minus are there. No H plus or no OH minus is there. So even if I add H2O, there will be no difference in the solubility. Okay, so this was the point I was trying to explain. So if there are any doubts in, the, in this type of questions, you can definitely ask me in the comment section and best of luck. Thank you.